I like this. Change is good. Hello everyone, Thranks is here and welcome back to No Man's Sky, where we're heading over to see Polo's contact at this paradise planet that just looks, I was going to say, as red as red can be, but now that I'm seeing that atmosphere is a very cyan color. Bit of an interesting mix. I dare say we've seen this one before. Oh, but the terrain is incredibly rocky. Not very grassy at all. Some grassiness. Okay, but the trees... Oh. Why, they are mushrooms. No. Yes? Oh, tell me that's a fauna. What? Okay. Just a random contact out here in the wilderness? Really? You know, there's no bones on this planet. Wait, are there? Whether well, mild rain. No, there's no bones on this planet. What are you doing studying bones over here? Lifeform's visor twinkles. They seem pleased to see me, but less interested in my company than in the prospect of analyzing the bones I have excavated. Here you go. Korvac selects a sample of bone matter, swiftly analyzing it with a module built in their carapace, returning the bones, they transmit the scan data directly into my suit. Wait. Did I get to keep all my... I did! Well, now I take back all the mean things I said about you. That's magnificent. Okay, well, we'll get rid of these viscous fluids. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Thermal protection module. That's just plain nanites in the bank. So these mushrooms do look bioluminescent, although we're going to have to let the sun go down a little bit to know for certain. I don't think we've seen this variety or species before. We have a few different avian creatures here. Yeah, look at these. That is unusual. I wonder if they glow. Okay, well, we might be in for a show here in a little bit. Look at all the mushrooms. That's quite a few of them. I think we need to get a before and after. Like, this is before sunset. And then we'll see what it looks like once the sun starts to go down. I I swear I'm I'm humbled sometimes. When I was on my way to this planet for for a, a microsecond, there was a part of me that was like, hmm, another red planet. But this one feels nothing like the other one. The other red planet with the tall grass and the and the trees, yeah. This one almost feels a lot more like a swamp planet, but it's not registering as a swamp planet. We will need to investigate the oceans a little bit to feel like we've fully explored this planet. Lots of underwater creatures, underground, underground, flying intriguing there are not more land-based fauna very intriguing 
Twilight is upon us. Ooh, and the red turns real red. Like fire engine red. Oh. And the grass is like... Oh, yes! Oh my gosh. Wow. This planet's pretty neat. Yeah, look at these things. Wow. I'm just like, and there's different colors of them? Oh, these come in different colors. Hang tight. Look, look, look. Blue and yellow. And green. Wait. Wait a minute. What? Are you kidding me? <laughs> no, no, we're getting our shot. We're getting our picture taken here. Come on. Just astounding, really. What's the weather? Mild rain? Is that a is that a fair weather planet? Look at how the, the grass is like rolling in stripes. Oh, and there's like these large mushrooms. Variation of species. Look at this. Only thing not lit up is the mountain. I like the other picture better. I have to admit, though, I'm already like, okay, this is really cool. Really awesome. There's no denying it. Like, none. There's no denying this. But I'm like, what about the oceans? Oh, we're going to learn about the caves next, actually. No, we're not. But I like this red grass. Wow. Why is my... What's going on? It's like some toxic balloon plant. Okay. I'm ready to see some oceans. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to go see the ocean. This is a neat planet, though. Definitely a strong contender for the top 10 of December. Alright, let's go find the day site of the Terminator of this planet. And hopefully it's over the ocean. It looks like it is. Uh, I don't really want a sunset or sunrise, though. I really would like... Uh, over here. Here we go. Just to try to identify what's going on with the ocean. I still believe the oceans could use a little love. Given the sheer scope of what we've seen them do to the land side of the planets, I think there's really no limit. There's no limit to what they can put together, so... Now I want it all. Congratulations. You made me hungry. Now I have an appetite. 
I mean, I was already at the table eating before. But now I'm ravenous. Okay, the ocean looks... definitely red. Light reflective anemones, algal blooms, kind of orange, yellow. I think I'm okay to scan. Yeah, let's go scan some underwater fauna. Oh, they're kind of neat looking. <laughs> Snake Agus. I'm sure that's not how that's pronounced, but that's what it made me think of. Old Snake Agus. There you go, some extinct land crabs. Okay. Is the sun... Oh, the sun is going down. Oh, look at him in the shallows. Oh, man. Look at these... These images here. Can you imagine... No, we're not going to be able to get everything we want in the shot. So I like it when there's islands like this. When the islands actually are like real islands and they're not just some flat little atoll barely peeking up out of the water that's awkwardly flat and very cliff. Oh, wait. Is this a floating island? Is it? Oh, man. I think it is. No, maybe not. Look at that island, though. Oof, it's growing out of the terrain. They've become symbiotic with the planet. Maybe it's the planet's air sacs for breathing? Like the lungs of the planet. No, this plant, this island is not floating. It is, however, awkwardly shaped. And I think we're going to take it regardless, so... There you go, there you go. As long as you keep your jetpack up against the... Yes! It's just... No. You're ruining picture day! Okay, let's try that again. I still like the other one we got better. All right. I think we can go ahead and get ready for departure. I do like what this planet has to offer. I think we're going to call this planet Wonderland.
probably a lot of different planets that you could name that, but there's something about that one that just really, really hits this magical feeling. All right, now let us jump back to where we were trying to explore again. Turn in our Nexus quest and go from there. All right. First things first, we're going to head to the Nexus and cash in. I'm tempted to take yet another daily quest. But if it sends us to another system besides this one, I don't know what I'll do with myself. I feel like with five unexplored planets, though, and only one explored planet, we'd be shooting ourselves in the foot not to check it out. There's only one daily quest left. It's another Ancient Bones. I think we got to leave it be. 7,500 on the Quicksilver? Oh, man. First... First thing is first. We're going to talk to Iteration Ares because we're here. And we're going to sell... This for 492 nanites. Fairly easy decision. The bones will be fairly easy to get out of our inventory. The real question is... We want to pull the trigger on some of this action in here. Alliance of Galactic Travelers banner. Amino Hub banner. Cafe 42 banner. United Federation of Travelers banner. Oh, you don't say. Do we have a... Hold on. Hold on. Do we have a banner? I don't even think we have a banner, do we? We have a title, but not, no such, like, banner. All we get is, like, this thing. Hmm. Well, purchasing a banner seems fun. But we probably need to catch up on other things. Oh, yeah, they show you what it looks like. Um, ah, but they won't show you what those look like because we haven't unlocked them yet. The fine and tasty band. <laughs> That's fun. I like iteration Tethys. That's cool too. The first spawn battle mask is cool. Eye of the Corvax helmet, not not shabby, not shabby. But I think if I'm if I'm to really just follow ooh, the blazing orbit helmet. That one's neat too. Dang it. No, I don't like... <sighs> alright, alright, alright. We're weighing our options here. Maybe it's... Maybe it's old. Maybe it's... Yeah. Just going back and forth. I feel like we're going to take the armored stuff, so we might as well take it. 
So we don't have enough for a headpiece right now anyways. It's true. It's true we don't. So we need to we need to continue working on our quicksilver. But now we are able to go All the way, legs, no, boots, legs, gloves, backpack, uh, there's another one, yeah. Okay, so then, for about the head until further notice, maybe we need, that one's not too bad, that one's cool. Yeah, no, some of these are pretty neat. That's a little too little too fancy, a little too regal. Let's Okay, so now we actually have an outfit that looks, you know, re reasonable. It's not the same as we've been wearing. We've changed it up a little bit. All right. I like this. Change is good. It's good to shake things up from time to time. Now. We've already been to Violet Mirror. What's next? What sort of planet are you? Rotting planet. Hmm. Next up on this side of the asteroid belt is... Airless planet. Uh, that might be a good option for this late in the discovery feed. Barren planet with activated cadmium. Terraforming Catastrophe. Alright, you know what? Command decision. Since we have limited time left in the exploration feed, I think that's where we'll go. But we are going to give a scan to this one and see what's up. Frostbound planet with aggressive sentinels. Oof. They tried to terraform this planet... And instead, what they got was a catastrophe. Just a thin, barely nothing of an atmosphere. Oof. Okay, a weird in, uh, in color inversion happening in the thin atmosphere. Some kind of charged particles from the sun, almost like an aurora, but not quite. Looks dirty. Rocky. Very, very flat. Shadowed in dust. Oh yeah, look at it all. The amount of particulate in the air is extreme. And how are we not staring at the Oh, did we get an eclipse? No. No, the sun's right there. So we have some form of organic compound growing on some of these rocks. Some sort of mold. It's possible that this algae or mold or bacterium would eventually grow into something that would seed this planet with the gases necessary to sustain life. Obviously, there was an attempt to terraform here if there was a terraforming catastrophe. Now, whether or not that would ever happen and what this thing is all over the rocks, we don't know because our scanners can't even pick it up. Ugh, oof, the air filter's working very hard down here. 
on our suit. The air down in these caves is incredibly dense. Just like a pocket trap for all the dusts that settle off the surface. No, thank you. Let's get out of here. Leave that cave alone. Alright. I think we're going to try and catch some air. And see what we can see. a little bit of a mountain over this way. Not much. Yeah, I don't know. This place doesn't have a lot going for it as far as style points go. Could be there's just not a lot going on here. <laughs> that is always an option. Although, meteor shower, okay. There's something about these planets. I don't know. Some of them I love. Some of them I can't stand. There's not really a big middle ground for me on these dead planets and moons. I either love it and I'm not sure why, or I can't stand it and I can't tell the difference between it and the one I loved. I know part of it's got to be the color, the terrain. Just across the board, I'm not very impressed with this one. I'm sure the color has something to do with it. I do like when the sun lights up, even without an atmosphere, it lights up kind of the dust in a color that I like. This one is just very brown. Very duddy, d duddy, duddy, dirty, dirty, muddy. Dirty and muddy is duddy. That's official. That's a word now. Dirty and muddy. It's very duddy. Let's go. Duddy's a word. I don't even know. Yeah. You know what I do know? Oh, I'm over it. <laughs> That's alright. The name of this one? You have, do you have to ask? Duddy. Thank you so much for joining me. I do hope you've had a good time watching, because as always, I've had a good time playing. Until next time, take care.